Hi, welcome to day four, Connect Life, Purpose Driven Life, chapter four. And today it's introduced by Steve Price, one of our elders at Connect Life Church. Over to you, Steve. Made to last forever. I don't know if you, but it doesn't feel like that to me very often. Um, since I've been just 60, just uh, passed over the age of 60, and uh, it feels more like a bit of me falling off. Well, perhaps even if they're not falling off, they feel as though they possibly could. I certainly don't recover from injury as much as I used to, or as quick as I used to. But we can lose sight of the fact that God tells us in the Bible that we were made to last forever. That eternity is a truth. And we have a, a continuity of life from this time into the next. We go straight into the presence of Jesus. About five years ago now, my, my mother uh, passed away I love that woman to bits. But she's had dementia for a number of years and um, and as we were there in the in the hospital with her as she as she passed away, I remember at that split second that that happened, that my spirit jumped for joy. And that was a, a real sort of uh, awkward feeling in some way because it was a very sad time and yet my spirit actually, it felt as though someone had put a defibrillator on my heart and it jumped, my spirit, you know, as if it recognised that she had passed into the presence of God and had been fulfilled, the whole purpose of her being was that she was now in the presence of God. So at this time when we will have unbroken fellowship with God in eternity, to think that it happens immediately that we leave this body, that we leave this life that we have on earth. It's so mentally stimulating. And recently I've had some difficult times in work. The last sort of two weeks in, in work has just felt as though it's um, uh, a part of hell on earth with the coronavirus problems that we have. It's made it so extremely difficult. And yet, you know, just thinking through this and reading this and understanding that that's what we're here for. We're here to, to A, to worship God here, but that we move from here to here in a split second into his presence. Let's read again what, the, what it's saying in the book about Ecclesiastes uh, 3. He, that's God, has made everything beautiful in its time. He's also set eternity in the human heart. And yet no one can fathom what God has done from beginning to end. And I'll take that to mean that we just won't understand it. It's something that, you know, is beyond, uh, beyond anything that we can fathom. But he also says it's set in our heart. It's, it's in our being. It's who we are. It's part of who we made. But we only look at this part of it uh, in this bodily frame. But it'll go on in perfect, uh, in the perfect design that God gave us when he created humanity back in the Garden of Eden. And so if we start to live knowing that this is our future, knowing that this promise will be fulfilled by God, then our life here now will be radically changed. As I said, it brings a smile to my face just to just to think this is what we have into the future. I want to keep that smile on my face. I keep thinking about that and learning more about it and believing it more than I ever have before. Thank you, Steve. You've given us things to think about there as we read our chapters and we connect with this great material. We hope that you have a great day. God bless you.